from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. The first ancient Olympic Games took place almost 2,800 years ago in the town of Olympia. The Olympics became an integral part of ancient Greek society. Every four years, from 77 BC to 393 AD, thousands of people from all over the Greek world congregated for the competition. The Olympic Games were held in a stadium that could seat approximately 45,000 people, all of whom camped out in their tents around the stadium for the three to five day event. The Olympic Games were held in honor of the Greek god Zeus. On the second day of the event, a vast number of cattle were sacrificed to Zeus. A small portion was cooked and offered to Zeus, and then a riotous 24-hour long barbecue followed for the spectators. There would eventually be 18 different events that the athletes would compete in, such as foot races, boxing, and equestrian events. The most brutal event was referred to as pancreation. This event was a combination of wrestling and boxing, where neck holds and strangling were permitted, and only biting and eye gouging were forbidden. Athletes could resign through waving a finger in the contact sport, but death was still commonplace. Athletes in any of the events who committed a foul or violation were sanctioned by public flogging and heavy fines. If you've ever seen the depictions of ancient Olympians on pots, bowls, and in other artworks, you will have noticed that they competed in the nude. Nudity was a fundamental part of ancient Greek culture, and the athletes would show off their physiques during parades in the stadium and while they competed in the games. All free male Greek citizens were entitled to participate in the ancient Olympic Games, regardless of their social status. Several emperors even took part. Women, however, were not permitted to compete. The ancient Olympic Games officially came to an end around 394 AD when the Christian Roman Emperor Theodosius I outlawed what he viewed as pagan celebrations. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.